Yeah, yeah. I'm here chatting with Lee and Linda Scott <laughs> and we're sheltering. Now, believe it or not, we're actually in Australia on the <laughs> Irish Ancestry Trail and it's raining. <laughs> but here we are in the shelter of the house. Where, where are we, um, Linda? Where Where's this place We're at exactly? the Scott family house here at Meadow Flat, which is in the Blue Mountains, just at the top of the Great Dividing Range in New South Wales, Australia. Excellent. And who lived here? I know it's somebody related to Lee Scott. Yes. Yes. So, so Lee, what, what? your grandfather and your great grandfather. Grand, grandfather and great grandfather. And your father. Yeah. And, well. and father. Dad was, my dad was born here. So your dad was born in this house. Yep. Your grandfather was born here. Yep. And your great grandfather was born here. No, yeah. the uh, great grandfather was born in Ireland, and he came. Oh, so that's... so we're back to the great grandfather in Ireland. And who who was that then? Um, William John Scott. So William John Scott, and they came from I believe was it Fermanagh Tyrone? No, border. Yeah, the, County Tyrone. Co Tyrone. County Tyrone. Yeah, yeah. Liz uh, Lynn was what I heard. That's what on all, oh, it says on all the records. On all the records. Yes. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit about this firmly built house or what's left of it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still standing. <laughs> Let's actually, they're all baker's oven where they used to bake their bread. The baker's oven? The baker's oven. There's a little baker's oven around the other side there. Oh, here in the back <coughs> in the no, corner? No, around, around the other around side. The front. Yes. They had a big long hook, a bit of metal. They'd get the bread and scones and dampers, Yes. put them on the tray and push them in with this hook. Then when they want to get them out, they pull them out with the hook. It's a bit like we make pizza today. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, very S similar. 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 Yeah, and yeah. Linda was saying there was a well over and here as well. There. Yep. Is, is, here. is it just covered. where it's covered with the... Uh, it goes down about 60 feet. Ah, I see. So that, the... uh, that actual well there, at least that's some old stables up here. Yeah. And my dad's brother Lloyd, which owned the places down here, he was always mucking around, digging the well. Like they go to take the skins, fox skins, and things into town, and rabbit skins to sell them. Then they come back home and dig another couple of foot in the well. And one day, Dad said, "The well's deep enough, Lloyd." I right, said, so "We should get in another six or eight feet, Mac." So Dad said, "All right, eh? So while Lloyd was away with the rabbit skins, Dad went and got some uh, an old brass door knob off the stable and got a raft and rubbed it down the sides of the well. Yes. So when Lloyd came, covered over a little bit of fresh dirt. So when Lloyd came back home from Ballard's after selling the fox skins and rabbit skins, he's digging down, digging down. He said, oh, I struck gold. <laughs> he really thought he struck gold, honestly. So he, put it in, he got it all put in the jar. And he went, and somebody comes to Ballard's, or come to Ballard's at that time on a horse and cart. Uh -huh. He took it in and I got some, uh, got some gold. Like, where, did you, where did you find all that gold at? He said, oh, me and my brother have been digging a well on the family farm, and I found it in the well. I was digging the well. And the Blake said to uh, said to Lloyd, I think that's Phil's gold, they used to call it. Fool's gold, yeah. Fool's gold, and Dad said, no, it's bloody Fool's gold. <laughs> it's not Phil's gold, it's Phil's gold. And Dad never ever told him until that day, until the Blake died, or Lloyd died first, but uh, that's, what he, that's what he'd done. <laughs> He never knew so, all the time. No, he never ever told him. He wasn't going to. He thought he might have shot him. <laughs> oh, so you, you have... so you never told him. Wow. No. So this this place has lots of memories, really, and stories, doesn't it, for you? Yeah, they did find some real gold in the bush up here. They said there's quite some old gold mines and diggies up in there. I actually found some stories that I was reading that um, William Scott and his brother Charles, Charles being the first one who um, came and pioneered this land, they were actually the first ones to... Um, do the gold mining, go, what do you call yeah, it, well, panning for gold. Oh, panning for gold. Yeah, yeah. Um, up at Sunny Corner where they had the gold mines. And after that, it became a big thing and they had a huge gold mining area up here at Sunny Corner. But they were the first ones who started the gold mining. Wow. We don't know whether they ever found anything. Maybe that's how they bought all these blocks of land. Fantastic, yeah, maybe, exactly. <laughs> that, that's how they could afford the land. <laughs> they used to ride the horse from here down to like Glen Davis, which is probably uh, 40. 45, 50 k's away from here, 45 k's. They'd ride the horses down and bring the carriages behind the horses. They'd cut eucalyptus. That's with that old, old square tank there. They used to bring you back here and line a fire underneath them. Yes. And, and melt all the, all, get all the juice out of the eucalyptus. They oh, to get the juice out of the juice, eucalyptus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sell it. yeah. And sell the juice. Yeah, they used to be really good for colds and uh, horses when the horses got a cold. Oh, okay. They put a vaporizer thing on, only a homemade vaporizer. The horse would breathe it in. The, Beautiful the smell. It is a nice smell. So the hospitals, you know, some hospitals use it, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, listen, thanks so much, Lee, for uh, inviting us. And Linda, for, for, yes. for having us here oh, on absolutely. your farm, on your farm yeah. that's been in the family for so long. Yeah. Thank oh, you yeah. so much. You yeah. didn't say how long it is. Oh, 175 years oh, really? this year. Oh, really? Yes, it is. This this block of land that we're on was first bought by John Hamilton, who was married to Jane Scott, and they bought this block of land as the first block of land on this ground. Um, 
and December 1843. So today we're in 2018. So the end of this year is 175 years that this land has remained in the, the Scott, Hamilton and Scott, Scott families. families.